I've never been a huge fan of jigsaw puzzles because they just take way more patience than I have. You know, this for eight hours? No thank you. I would like stuff now, please. I do like puzzle games, though, because I can play them much quicker than I can do a jigsaw puzzle, and also they have the added benefit of I can beat you at them. Huh? It's a puzzle that I can beat you at. That's fun. One puzzle game I've been liking a lot recently is Block and Key. Hey. Block and Key is a really interesting game where you are using three-dimensional blocks to build up an area, but you're only scoring based on your two-dimensional view of those blocks. So it's a game that forces you to think about multiple perspectives. Huh? That's a nice life lesson. There's multiple perspectives out there. We should force every fourth grader and politician to play this game. In block and key, you'll be collecting three-dimensional blocks from down here and then placing them up top to fulfill pattern cards. However, only your 2D perspective matters for scoring cards. For instance, if I put this block right there, well now I've just scored this card because I have four white blocks on the bottom and two gray blocks above that. On your turn, you can either draft blocks from the bottom or place blocks up top. There are lots of pattern cards in the game, ranging from easy to medium to hard. We love using the cliche, easy to learn, hard to master. And I hate saying that, but there is nothing more appropriate to say about this game. It really is easy to learn and hard to master. I can teach this game in under five minutes. But the amount of pressure that it puts on your brain trying to work out the puzzle where you're like, ah, how do I place these blocks to finish this key card? I know there's a way to do it. Oh boy, this is a lot in a good way. Lots of people like building Legos, but once you build a Lego set, you're kind of stuck with it. You just worked hard putting it together. Well, now you got to display it somewhere. Block and key is like adult Legos that you don't feel guilty for tearing down. 